Today's a very special video because today we're going to be talking about the top five best Roblox score games on the platform of 2024. Now, I have made multiple top five lists about Roblox score games in the past, and we're going to be looking at those and seeing the state of where those games are. And then I'm going to give you my personal new favorite top five. So without further ado, let us go ahead and talk about our old top five. So I made an old top five roughly around seven months ago. And in those seven months, the game space has changed quite a bit. So the list is actually really really, really outdated. So in my old list, I had at number five, Blood Tide. At number four, a game called Blasphemy, also known as Gore 2 Now. Number three, I put the OG Neighborhood War. Number two, I put Blood Engine. And for number one, I put Untitled Shooter 2. Now, of those five games, take a look at us on how many of those games are actually still being worked on. If you said one, that would be correct. And the one that actually is being worked on still is my number five pick, Blood Tide. At number four, Blasphemy, that game is not really being worked on anymore for a new game called Gore 3. Number three, Neighborhood War has stopped being worked on because they're actually remastering it. Number two, Blood Engine has stopped being worked on because of big controversies regarding the developers actually getting paid or not. Allegedly, the owner just refused to pay him anything while also simultaneously flexing how much money he has and also misleading his developers into believing they think that they would get to where he was when in all reality they were just being tricked into working for pennies on the dollar and at number one untitled shooter 2 that game has been basically discontinued because i assume the developer has just lost interest and also a few controversies with him being a complete degenerate i'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty of what that guy did but it was pretty heinous however more recently i have heard that somebody else is taking over Untitled Shooter 2 and they're going to be doing it and maybe making Untitled Shooter 3. Who knows? But with all that out of the way, let's finally start our top five. Coming in at number five, this might be a surprise to some of you guys, but I'm going to put Redbox 2. And the reason why I'm actually putting this in the list this time around is because they actually added back their gore. And honestly, Redbox 2 is really what sent the gore genre to what we know now. So it would be kind of unfair to not put the thing that started it all in the top five list. But Redbox 2 is an extremely fun but yet simple Roblox score game. It's kind of structured the way Neighborhood War Remastered is, but they do have some pretty big key differences. The biggest difference being the fact that this game is a free-for-all. Nobody is safe. There's really no progression system in this game either, and the map is honestly really, really basic with just it structuring around a little neighborhood. There are little airdrops that frequently drop around the map, and they give you some guns that aren't really accessible in the menu, but besides from that, this game is honestly just really, really simple. And also, they get bonus points because you can throw bodies into a massive pit. It kind of gives me the old vibe of Bill Cosby fun game if you've ever played that Flash game before. It sounds terrible. It's because it is terrible, but I used to play it in school all the time. So what about dumping bodies in a pit really just makes me happy. Also, do not check my backyard. Coming in at number four, we have Blood Zone. Now, this game is a direct improvement of Redbox 2, in my opinion. The gore itself isn't anything too special, but what's really important here is how fun the game actually is. In gameplay, wise I really cannot complain. They have their own little progression system, they have loads of guns, and they do frequently host events on the game. For example, I think my most recent video I made on specifically Blood Zone was a Halloween event where a boss would spawn out of nowhere, and the entire game would have to team up to kill this boss, and also there was a little easter egg hunt of little candies that you could collect for a badge. Now obviously that's just an event, but honestly the creators of this game are really cool, and the game is also really awesome. It's also one of the more popular Roblox score games at like 500 concurrent players, which is honestly really, really good considering the fact that Redbox 2 has like 30 concurrent players at the moment. So at least with this game, when you hop into a lobby, you're for sure going to have a lot of action, unlike Redbox 2, where it's like kind of a 50-50 chance. Coming in at number three, we have Blood Tide. Now, Blood Tide is almost exactly like the other two games I have just mentioned, except the fact that the gore is a little bit more crazy. In this game, you can shoot at somebody and literally tear them in half. They also have things like landmines and turrets, so you can basically rig some parts of the map and make it absolutely unplayable for other people. I've gone on some serious kill streaks in this game just doing that. However, unlike Blood Zone, this game really doesn't have a progression system. It's kind of the way Redbox is structured. You just hop in, kill a bunch of people, have fun. It's also a free-for-all, so spawns that sometimes can be a little bit questionable. It's also extremely popular with around 600 concurrent players, and they are actually currently working on a new game. And once that new game is done, they're going to be putting it on this game as an alpha. 
And it's also partially the reason why I'm rating it so high is because I know this is going to be one of the best score games coming out of 2024. And think of this pick as like more of a prediction pick. It's not going to be up with these next two games I have picked out, but it's definitely going to cook over a long amount of time. I would argue that this game has some of the most potential in the gore category, considering the fact that it already has 600 active players playing it in a game that is going to be an alpha for a game that's not even out yet. I'm just saying the hype is there. And really my only gripe with the the game is the fact that the gore isn't necessarily too realistic. It'll definitely make you question what you're doing with your life, but it's not 100% there. And another thing is probably the spawns. There's definitely been a few times where I've been killed by people that had just spawned in with a force field, but otherwise the guns feel amazing. The gameplay loop is pretty fun. So what is there not to really like about this game? Now, before I say these next two, I just want to say that these games that I'm about to mention are on completely different leagues from the other three. I guess a good analogy would be that the three games that I just mentioned are like the minor leagues in the MLB, and the games I'm about to mention now are basically like the major leagues. Coming in at number two is a game called Chain. Now, Chain is completely different from the other three games that I just mentioned because it's actually not really a shooter. It is a horror survival game. And to be honest with you, this game is scary. It is really scary. As far as I'm aware, this is really the first Roblox horror game that's actually incorporating the use of Roblox gore, and also a Roblox horror game that's also catering to the older audiences. This game currently, as it's in, has two game modes. It has the multiplayer game mode and the single player game mode where you can basically play through the story. It's also important to know that this game is in early access, meaning that the game is not really finished yet, but I expect it to be finished sometime this year. This game has been in development for a reasonably long time, and the community is pretty hyped for this game. Currently, as it stands, it has over 200 players playing it at the moment, and for a game that's a horror game that doesn't have that much replayability in it, I would say that's pretty damn good. And what makes this game so good is the fact that it's not directly a Roblox score game, but it uses Roblox score and its ambience to really make things scary. And for this next game, I would like to give a little honorable mention to a game that isn't really out yet, nor is it playable. That game being Brutal Battlegrounds, which is basically a Roblox funded game that is more for mature audiences. It basically takes all the anime fighting games and makes them extremely, extremely violent. But since it's not really playable yet, I can't really put it in the list, but it's worth an honorable mention. Coming in at number one, however, should not be a surprise to anybody, it is Neighborhood War Remastered. This game is one of my personal favorite games on the entirety of Roblox. This game is so unbelievably fun. The gore is amazing. And overall, it is just a really, really well-crafted game. Basically, all the Roblox games that I mentioned on this list were basically inspired heavily by Neighborhood War. And the fact that they're remastering it is amazing. Neighborhood Remastered gameplay is actually really fun because there's three teams and there's not really that much progression in the game. You kind of just hop on in, pick a gun that's out there, and you start going crazy with it. From what I've noticed, all of the guns are reasonably good, so you can really do good with anything, and there's multiple ways to kill a lot of people. The game is very gruesome. I'm surprised it's even still on Roblox, to be honest with you. But if you really need me to sell you on this game, I have like 30 videos on this game alone, which just might be the most used gore game in my channel. So it really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that Neighborhood War Remastered is going to be number one on my list. But that was my top five. If you guys agree with my top five, leave a like. If you guys think I snubbed the game, leave it down in the comments so I can live in eternal regret. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' day and enjoy 2024. Bye-bye.